Business leaders, of course, run the business at executive level. That's their job, and it's like nobody else's. And it's a very, very difficult job. So the reason they should come to business school is to get the kind of help that they can only get, at times, outside of the organisation in order to do that. I've been uh, running businesses, three different businesses over the course of 15 years, um, without any formal uh, direction. And what I was really looking for was some structure um, to, uh, as the businesses had grown, to really place around the strategic planning process uh, uh, to ensure that we were best placed to grow our business most, effect most effectively. Cranfield Business Leaders Programme works in this way. We bring people from across industries, different sectors, different parts of the world together. They're all business leaders. They all have the same basic interest. We create a space, we create a structure concentrated, lots of personal attention around a very, very specific agenda. I have to say it's an agenda which cuts out many things which we don't consider to be absolutely essential for uh, a business leader. Opportunity to talk and be challenged by colleagues from different organisations in the context of a two-week programme. Uh, the main attraction of the programme itself was uh, its promise of uh, bringing clarity to the whole strategic planning process. For our business, we had grown very rapidly uh, from a, a standing start, and we had certainly got to the stage where we really needed to provide some structure around uh, uh, the growth phase going forward. I came away personally with uh, real clarity around the whole of the process um, for the, uh, the strategic uh, planning uh, direction, and indeed, if you reflect on the results that we've subsequently, ach subsequently achieved, I think it's in no small part to the plans that we laid down uh, after the programme. So the benefits of the programme, therefore, are to come together with other like-minded people who have the same kind of questions but very different answers. The challenge that then comes from them, and of course from the Cranfield faculty who work very, very closely and are very, very available to talk to uh, each of the delegates, spend time uh, with, with the delegates. Always the issue is on challenge and then on the relevance of the thinking to the business and solutions. We at Cranfield are very, very solutions driven. The single best thing about the Business Leaders Programme for me was the way that it dealt with some really quite complex topics in a very um, practical and very accessible way that it ensured, tailored to the particular individual, that you took away exactly what you needed to affect your business in a practical manner and that is fantastic. We give a lot of, of personal uh, attention so every item on the curriculum is very, very closely uh, uh, looked through uh, with the Cranfield faculty to hand. They have, people have access to the Cranfield faculty who, of course, have been driven by big, big research questions and they've got important answers, state-of-the-art uh, understandings. We put all that together and there's a lot of discussion, a lot of thinking. Very, very important to create time for thinking about these big issues and conclude by putting it all together into a very, very doable, imp implementable action plan. I think one of the biggest learnings for me was understanding that um, the key importance of um, politics within an organisation, uh, and particularly a growing organisation, and as a leader um, recognising uh, how uh, the, the senior team did have personal agendas that you did actually have to very carefully manage uh, in order to achieve the best results of the organisation. Think about it very, very complex business environment, which is, of course, shifting, and they need to understand it. That's so evident at this uh, current moment in time. There is so much they need to understand about how to make judgments, where to actually be involved in their organisation, when not. That's a shifting sands. It, it's not a, a constant. Sometimes you need to be much more close, sometimes not. There is a need to understand how to actually deliver uh, strategy, how to actually arrive at strategic choices. Very, very hard to do that without the benefit of an external view, external challenge, and that's what you get at business school. Anyone who is considering the Business Leaders Programme should really think carefully about what it is that they want to achieve. Uh, when they come on the programme and come on with an open mind. They have to be prepared to make change. Uh, the one thing that the programme does do, both from 
your organization and from a personal perspective is to give you the opportunity of making sig significant changes to both and you have to be prepared to actually affect those. It's a wonderful opportunity to talk with people at that level and be privileged to be part of, the, of their, their thinking. But I suppose the ultimate reward is, uh, I can honestly say I'm in touch with all who come through the programme and, and uh, that's over quite a number of, of years now. And the reason simply is because it's so rewarding to see what happens and to continue to be able to help them.